Hey guys, welcome back. Let's get on with problem 710. Okay. Um, all right, so we're back to having to solve for reactions here because there's no free end. Okay. So just like in the first problem that we did, 7 7, we needed to find the reaction moments first. So AY, AX, which we know is going to go to zero because there's nothing else in the X direction. By, okay. Those are the reactions: hinge, roller. So solving for. Let's see. We have a y plus b y equals zero, okay. And then taking a moment about a. Okay. We know a x is zero, so we're just gonna get rid of that. So taking a moment about a, we have. By times six, okay, counterclockwise, minus twelve. All right, so that gives me uh, twelve divided by six. That gives me two kilonewtons for By. Okay, which means Ay over there is minus two kilonewtons. So it's actually down. It's pointing down. Okay, that's it. So now, what we gotta do is, some we're gonna make a cut between, um, you know, before something happens and after something happens. So after A and before B. So somewhere here. Okay. So then our our beam is gonna be this long of size x okay then we're gonna have our reaction forces sorry that we're gonna have our external forces acting on this so we know a y is negative so we know it's gonna be two kilonewtons down okay we don't gotta worry about by because by corresponds to the right side of this beam. Okay, and then we have v1, m1, and nor normal. Okay, so then that, once we have this set up, just analyze it again. Fy equals zero. We have minus two, minus v1 equals zero, and then v1 equals negative two kilonewtons okay perfect okay and then we're just gonna take a moment about that first cut over here all right and we're gonna have two times X okay going counterclockwise so 2x plus m1 and then it tells us M1 is minus 2x. All right. And that's it. So we only have to make one cut. Okay. Um, so now we just got to plot it once again. So let's just plot it here. This will be M. So x. This is X. This will be the shear diagram. Down here will be the moment diagram. Okay. So for shear, okay, the shear diagram, we have we found out that from this function corresponds to X between zero and six. Okay. So it's telling us that we have a constant negative shear. So negative two. And it's going to be constant throughout the whole beam. Okay. Here's zero. So we have this. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Now, let's look at the moment. The moment varies um, as a function of x. So at the free end of the beam over here, it's not a fixed support anymore. At the free end of the beam, 
x equals 0, so the moment equals 0 here. Okay. However, if we look at this end, b, if that 12 kN uh, moment wasn't there, okay, our moment should be 0 here. But because of that 12 kN moment, we're going to get back a negative 12. So this is clockwise, so it's negative. So we know it's going to be negative. Or just evaluate this at x equals 6, and we have a negative 12 over here. Okay, And it's linear, so we know it's just going to go straight down like this. Okay, And then if we check our derivative here, dm dx, we get back negative 2 for the shear. All right. And then we're done. Then we're done with this problem. So this one was pretty bit easy. No distributed load. Just the only thing acting on this beam was just a moment. Okay. So that was pretty easy. All right, guys. I uh, hope you followed through with this video. Um, I look forward to uh, making the next one and hope helping you guys out. All right, guys. Take it easy.